Hi my loves, welcome back to a new video if you're new here, my name's Anushka. Today we're going to be trying out some hyped up slash new products. Some of the bits I did recently receive in PR so I wanted to try and some bits are quite hyped up products that I have already tested out and I wanted to put all in a YouTube video because your girl has been neglecting YouTube a little bit, you know, but I love YouTube so much and I love it mainly for vlogs. I do like watching makeup videos here and there and you guys seem to really like it too so I'm going to continue but make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok which is where you'll see me the most. I have been vlogging so that video will come soon. The first product I have here that I wanted to try is from Ciate London. It's their micro blade brow. I haven't used a product like this in a while and they gave me the shade soft brown which I'm hoping will be a good shade for me. Yeah the shade is like that's a shame, the shade is off but I can see the potential in this but I can't try it for today. So for eyes, I'm going to be using the NARS Summer Unrated Eyeshadow Palette. I literally just got this in the mail. I think I'm going to take this warm brown right here. We're just going to pack this on. Pigmented for sure. I realised in my previous videos whilst I'm blending stuff, my arm rubs against the mic which is very annoying so I'm trying to not do that. I'm just going to take a clean brush to help blend those edges. I'm going to take this darker brown right here. I kind of really want it rounded on the outer corner. So tempted to grab this shade right here. It's like a sparkly burnt shade. Wow. You can't fault that pigment. I love how shimmery it is. Look at that. Wow. I really like this palette because it, it just seems genuinely so versatile. Like definitely my kind of palette. I'm going to take this kind of like blushy pink from here and I'm just going to kind of blend it here. I'm going to take some of this slate shade right here just to help blend kind of like the edges just applying some liner the liner's done for mascara i recently got the in extreme dimension 3d black lash and the brush looks pretty intriguing i mean i'm not the biggest fan of how this is applying right now Meh, it's, it's not really standing out to me. For lashes, I'm going to go in with the Eyelore Bad and Bougie Lashes. This is in collaboration with the Plastic Boy. Absolutely love these lashes. They're bomb. I mean, look at the difference. The lashes are on. It looks pretty damn, pretty damn good. And this shadow looks so gorgeous in real life. Okay, then for skin, I recently got the Bondi Sand Sunny Days Hydrating SPF 50 Moisturizer. I've been seeing this in a few videos, so I'm really excited. Although, I did get the full-size body SPF, which I put on my face, and it majorly made me broke out. So I'm just hoping it doesn't happen with this. I didn't check the formula because I'm lazy. This is a mineral SPF, which I don't really use that much. I just really, I feel like mineral is supposed to be better, but I just don't like the feel of it on my skin. It doesn't really have a scent. I just really hope it doesn't break me out because I have had that with the body SPF, which I put on my face. Okay, so far I'm not too mad at that. It's moisturizing, but I would definitely, for me, like I would definitely prefer a moisturizer on top of this. But yeah, it's definitely something I'll continue using under my makeup, even without, but there's not really a, any cast really, it's quite good. It dries down for sure and I have really dry skin so I'm definitely going to need some moisturiser on this right now. Okay, the Jones Road What The Foundation. I haven't talked about this on YouTube but I did do a review on TikTok and Instagram. I really like this. Like it was going super viral. Not a lot of people liked it. I really like this stuff. The only thing is, it's like you always have to give it a good mix because it kind of separates. You really don't need a lot of this stuff, but like I said, I've really been liking this for like, especially my no makeup makeup days. I have really dry skin, which is probably why I like it. And you really don't need a lot. Another thing that people didn't really like about this foundation was the scent, but I kind of really like the scent. Are there better like no makeup makeup products out there? 
for a better price for sure but I'm not mad at it would I purchase it again not no I don't think so but am I gonna make make use of this for sure it's pretty but I've got better like tinted moisturizer my go-to tinted moisturizer is the NARS tinted moisturizer in Santiago like honestly my go-to product I got the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand which was so hard to get I got the shade medium deep this stuff does blend really nicely but I like to do it in sections for sure like it's super pigmented so I have to be really careful I do really like the Beautiful Skin um, Cream Bronzer by Charlotte Tilbury, which is another new product. This one I, I definitely have to be like really careful. It's just so pigmented. And you literally need the tiniest amount. Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealers. These are bomb. I like to use Graham Cracker, which is like a perfect highlight concealer shade for me. I'm gonna use her Conceal and Blend brush. Blend that out, it literally feels like a finger. I mean, I could use my finger, but why get my finger dirty when I've got literally the brush? I'm just gonna set that with some Huda Beauty Banana Bread setting powder. Next product I got are the Benefit blushes. These were everywhere on my TikTok. There was this huge like PR like trip as well on it and like literally saw it everywhere. So I guess their PR marketing technique definitely works because it made me buy it. I got the shade Crystal, which is like a bright coral. You can see it better there, super bright. And I love that I was able to purchase a small size. This one has a bit of a glow to it. Ooh. That blush is super pretty. Oh my God, this blush is gorgeous. Could blend it a bit better, but let's move on. I'm just gonna put some shadow on my lower lashes. I can't get over these lashes. Don't know how I feel about this MAC mascara, honestly. I mean, it's doing my lower lashes really nicely. I'm gonna go in with this Eye Luster Cream Shadow by Ciate London and just put that in my inner corner. How pretty is that? Wow. Another super hyped up product is the Maybelline Vinyl Lipsticks. It's like a shiny lipstick, but transfer proof. Like what on earth? Is it vinyl or vinyl? Vinyl. I also discovered recently from my friends that it's daiquiri and not Daiquiri, I've been saying strawberry daiquiri. How embarrassing. So it's daiquiri. Comment below, is it daiquiri or daiquiri? But anyways, vinyl. Vinyl, I think. Maybelline vinyl lippy. Um, these are shiny but transfer proof. Like I don't even know how that's supposed to work, but let's see. Could do with a little bit of a liner, but I'm gonna leave it as is. Then I'm gonna set my face with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This stuff is liquid gold. I recently bought this and you can tell I love it because it's already going down. This makes my makeup stay on. I don't know if this blush looks bright on camera, but in person it looks good, I promise you. Like, I feel like the brush, the blush really stood out to me. Anyways, that's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's do a test on this lippy. I mean, pretty good. Yeah, the blush and the lippy definitely stood out to me. I love this eyeshadow palette. Like this eye is definitely something I would go for like on a regular if I'm going out. Um, concealers are bomb from Huda Beauty. You need to get the, I feel like everyone needs the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. But yeah, overall I'm pretty happy. This blush though, this blush. So yeah, those are my first impressions demonstrating because a lot of these products I've tried out already and I just wanted to share it with you guys. Um, but overall, with everything, I'm pretty happy except for that Ciate brow pen, which was the wrong shade. But it, do, it does have potential. But that's it from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what videos you want to see next. I've got a vlog coming up. I might try and do some more food-related videos. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!